As long as I'm a citizen of this great nation, Nigeria, God will continue to speak to me. Whether they listen or not, let it be recorded that God spoke. I'm not a politician, I don't belong to any political party. I'm just doing my work as a servant of God. How you, you interpret it does not concern me. I've dropped my message, whether you believe it or not. The Lord said the election of 2023 this year has been converted. The election has been done, dusted, and converted. They are, only, they are only waiting to announce the winner. God said I should give this warning to all the citizens of Nigeria, the voters. Go to polling, your polling unit, vote, and go home. Because some group, there's a some group of a political party in Nigeria, I'm not mentioning, has prepared that. That they must take it by force. And they are going to use the head of human beings to collect it by force. This is the prayer I'll be praying that your head and my head will not be among the head of the college. Vote your conscience. Go to the polling unit, vote for whoever you want to vote for. Then go back home. I spoke last week Sunday and how I saw the federal authority as sort of removed from Abuja down to Lagos. Many of you thought I am joking. I gave that prophecy since 2020. And I'll keep repeating it until you see it with your eyes. The Lord said I should tell all the evils, those of you that know that you are among of the enemy who are still tying that Dr. Mnambikalu should repent now because I saw an hour of reckoning. An hour of reckoning is coming very soon. Federal government are not the one holding down Namikalu. The people holding down Namikalu are the evils. The wicked evils. Wicked and idiotic, some evil people. And the one tying down Namikalu. Those guys will tell them to repent because an hour of reckoning is coming. You can't stop me, I'm a servant of God. I love Namikalu with passion. If you don't know me, I don't know him. I'm not doing what I'm doing for anything. I am saying it because God is speaking to me. Briafa Nation is coming very soon. Briafa Nation is coming very, very soon. Amen. And if we come with so ease, ease, we see it. Amen. I don't know this man, uh, Mr. First of Keyamu, is that the APC for Percy? Is that the that one? First of Keyamu? The Lord said I should tell him to pray. Those that know him should pray. Send this video to him. He should pray. I saw a very serious spiritual attack on that young man. I don't know, but what I saw is dangerous. Nobody every two way want to see for a bush in the night. Nobody talk for money. So I am only just giving this revelation. Those that know him to tell him to go into prayer immediately. Prayer and dangerous sacrifice. Because his name was marked with the red Bible. Festus, Keyamu. I don't know him, but I pray that God should preserve him. Amen. I am doing my job as a prophet. Anybody going to reveal to me to pray for? I pray for the person. I saw the name of Festus Keyamu marked with red Bible. For God to tell me, for God to have told me to tell him to pray and people allowed him to pray, that means God was not wanting to die now. Is it true or not? So I pray that God will preserve that young man. I don't know him, does not know me, but I'm doing what I'm doing because God showed it to me. Pray. The family of Festo Keyamu should join hand with him and pray very well. Because I saw his name marked with red banner. God said we should pray. I saw a, a secular musician waving goodbye. A secular musician, very popular. 
This is a long time prophecy. Not too long. You are going to see it. So God said the family of this person should pray. This guy that sang uh, uh, Buga, what's his name? Kiss Daniel? Kis, you, is this Kiss Daniel? Yes, that sang this one that you can carry children like this? God said you should pray. God said you should pray. Family should pray. I don't know him, but I want the Lord straight to me. So tell him to pray. Tell the family to pray. Uh, there's an attack. So you should just pray. I won't, I won't talk about that. I won't talk about that. Amen? Amen. So all the people should come together and pray for the Torah to come. The eat told us. The wicked ones should repent. I spoke to the governor of Imo State last week. The message did get to him. God said you should reconcile with your people. Dr. Um, governor uh, Hope, who's the team? Am I correct? Reconcile with your people. Because what is ahead of you is not good. I pray that when they are looking for people here to court during this election, you that is watching this video that is going to share this video. May your head not be among the head that we caught. Okay, may our head not be among the head that we caught. In the name of Jesus. Amen.